This is the devastating aftermath of a house fire, a brick home left completely destroyed. Neighbours say they heard loud explosions. I was out the back having a coffee and I'd heard this bang and it was quite loud and I thought it was very unusual because it is a quiet street, it's not an overly sort of active street. Access to it was difficult to the uh, cars in the garage but uh, yeah it was, uh, it was definitely uh, one of the biggest fires I've been seen in a while. In daylight the true extent of the tragedy unfolded. At this stage, the cause of the blaze is unknown. Forensic investigators from Sydney and local arson investigators are examining the scene, but it could be some time, possibly even days, before police can confirm what's happened. In front of a parochial home crowd, the magpies grew wings. The tackling was ferocious as Mara was made to work hard for every possession. But the bombers rode the bumps and Brad Langtree rode his luck from the boundary. Yeah, three quarter time we thought we'd, we'd done a lot of hard work and we just knew we had to maintain it. We thought for the moment we let off and we let them back in the game, and which is what happened and to their credit they really worked hard in that last quarter. In the quarter of the season, the Rocks surfed a wave of momentum. I think it's about time. Yeah, we've been waiting a long time for this. It took too long, should have been done years ago. Old Donny Tuckles held out too long though, that's the thing. <laughs> but it's good to see it all coming down now anyway, starting to do something. The demolition of four houses marks the beginning of Wagga Bay's hospital's anticipated redevelopment. Today's demolition is the start of several years of construction work. The redevelopment will be the biggest piece of new health infrastructure west of Sydney. Thanks Mike. While Melbourne has been hit with an icy blast, it's great news for the Alps with over 20 centimetres of fresh dry powder falling this week. Looking around the resorts, all terrain here at Falls Creek is open with 14 lifts up and running. Mount Hotham expect all 13 lifts to operate, Mount Buller currently have 25 lifts spinning and Borbor have 5 lifts operating. Fine conditions should return for the weekend, so it's time to make the most of those fresh tracks. Back to you, Mike. <laughs> Where?